right guys we are back second video of the day i just did the top 10 running backs go check that out up next we have the best budget players available that will be the third video of the day this is the second one bryce young had to cover him because he's new this is not a top 10 quarterback well because he's missing abilities his uh passing is okay he's gonna hit thresholds for short medium deep at least they're 85s but however not even having gunslinger uh, getting the ball out is not going to be good with this card no separate lead no hover master so you will be the disadvantage for using this card because of lack of abilities covering another card cj Stroud. well they also messed this card up with abilities he only gets gunslinger nothing special there uh i do like other releases like johnny menzel so i got a johnny menzel ahead of him the biggest problem with this card he doesn't have 85 throw in the run means if you turn it on the run he's going to miss the pass sometimes and you're going to be mad also not top 10 is going to be russell and guess what he's good short medium deep to 90 and up he can hit the thresholds but he's missing abilities right no sepi lee no hall right master not the best release he does have gunslinger you can use this card but there's just better cards dak is very similar to russell and it, oh, that's not a good thing because, well, he's missing abilities. So, Gunslinger, really between him and Russell, it's going to be very, like, similar production. I do like Dak's release a little bit better. Keep that in mind. But let's get to number 10. We have Johnny here, guys. And I like him better because, well, his release, that's why. And he's going to have 90 throwing power, good speed. And the 90 deep ball is going to be nice. He's going to be super accurate, over 90 Throwing the run means he's going to be able to do that. So if that's your scheme, you like rolling out, you're going to like this guy. Duke Spin feels good. He has an amazing cod, but he's missing abilities, right? No Sippy Lee, no Hara Master. So keep that in mind. You want to put Gunslinger on him. He does get some X factors. Uh, just remember they're not consistent. They're not overpowered. Let's keep it. Lamar Jackson is here, and he has good speed. And yes, his accuracy is going to be great. And what's really good about this card why is he better than all the other cards we just covered Dak and all of them because he has the best release in the game traditional four is the best release this year and he gets it so he is missing high route master separate lead so if that's what you're looking for then this won't be your guy but if you don't use those abilities and you like to run and you want the best release in the game then Lamar is going to be your guy right now his price has dropped down to 150 which is super nice Go try out Lamar Jack. The only reason I got Joe above Lamar is because of Hot Route Master and setting up those wide receivers is huge, especially those running backs and tight ends. You can really set up your own offense, put them in routes you want, and that's a game changer. That's so why I got him above Lamar. Now, if you're not going to use Hot Route Master, I like Lamar better because of his release. It is better, and it, this athleticism is a night and day difference compared to Joe. Now, why do I like Moon better than Joe? Well, it's simple, because athleticism. He can actually go pick up yards. He's only some 90s here that are super important. He's gonna have a hot route master, that's why I like him better than Lamar, but he's not gonna have set feet lead. So keep that in mind. Gunslinger's gonna be nice. And this guy here is gonna get the job done. He is not cheap at all because he's an LTD. He's just more rare, and he's got that ceiling uh, that's a little bit higher than others because he has the floor of 350. Now, with that being said, Moon is a usable quarterback. Up next, guys, we do have Michael Vick here. And, well, why is he not higher on the list? We're going to cover that in just a second. So, comparing him to Lamar is really silly because they're really opposite. Uh, Vick's left-handed, Lamar's right-handed. Uh, Lamar has a better release. Vick gets a hot route master. So, they're not even close to being the same. Now, this backyard quarterback I do want to talk about here, guys. You can make some pre-adjustments. But just keep that in mind. It's basically a high route master. And with that being said, he's missing set feet lead. So that is going to make a difference when not getting him higher on the list. His release is fine. It's not the best. Like I said, Lamar is the best. But this guy here can really run and make people miss. His juke and spin does feel good. Let's keep it moving. Kurt Warner is next. And man, he's going to hit some thresholds. And he's going to miss some thresholds. So... Throwing on the run with this card is absolutely trash. And that's not good because why? Well, there's a time, there's a blitz coming from the left. You need to take two steps to the right just to get the ball out. And you can't because he's going to miss that throw more often than not. And you're going to get mad. But why do I have him higher on the list? It's because of set feet lead. If you're just sitting in the pocket with this guy, 
he is going to be really tough to stop. Sefit Lee squeezing the ball in between the defense is what you want. And especially in the red zone where stuff tightens up. You're going to want that Sefit Lee to get the ball in there in between the little tight spaces you couldn't with other quarterbacks that do not have this ability. Now I got Tory Aikman. That's now remember Aikman has the same problem, guys. Throwing the run is not even 85. You wish it was even 90 at the highest threshold, but it's not. So throwing the run, he's gonna miss throws. Just keep that in mind. Uh he's also not athletic. But why is he better than Warner then, right? Because he gets the same stuff as Warner gets. He gets that feet lead. And that's why I have him higher of other cards because of the ability. But why is he higher than Warner? It's because of his release. He has a better release getting the ball out on time. So let's see who's next. Up next, we have Dan Marino. And guess what? Dan the man is going to be really good. But he has the same issue as Troy and Warner, which is crazy. None of these guys hit that 85 throw on the run. So if, he put, if you get pushed out of the pocket, and you're, you just got to run away. You're not going to like this. One, because he's slow. Two, because he doesn't have the ability. And three, he doesn't even hit the threshold. So, but sitting in the pocket, he's going to be great. Why do I have him above Troy? It's because his release is better. Getting the ball off this card is a little bit easier. Sefi lead is obviously what you would get this card for. And yeah, that's really it is dane has a better release than troy and troy has a better release than more patrick mahomes has a better release than dan getting the ball out with patrick is going to be easier and he has to throw on the run at 90 which means he can really roll out make those throws unlike dan he has a little more speed it's not super special but he can actually take two steps to the right get the ball out make it happen so patrick's gonna be better than dan and better than other quarterbacks that can't do that so Patrick Mahomes could be that guy that fits your team. His price has dropped about 350. Keep that in mind. Set feet lead is obviously what you're going to put on this guy. And he's going to be great, but there's someone better. EasyMutt.com. Use code Q. Get 10% off right now. Stop gambling your money. Go save your money. Go get the team you want. Go have the fun you want. Go get the players you want. New best quarterback in the game is going to be Anthony Richardson. Now, he's going to be way faster than Mahomes, so there's going to be times you get flushed out of the pocket, and you're going to really want to pick up those yards, and this guy can. Or in the red zone, you just want to run with him. You can. And he's going to hit that 90 throw in the run, so that's going to be a huge difference between him, Warner, Dan, and Troy. This guy here is going to get the ball where you need it to be. If this video will help you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. This guy here is it's going to be special. Why? Because he gets set feet lead. So he's the only quarterback in the game with his athleticism with those thresholds that get set feet lead. So with that being said, Anthony Richardson is the new best quarterback in the game. That's going to do it for me, guys. Go watch the top 10 running backs that videos up. Up next with the best budget affordable cards. That would be the third video. This is the second one. Be kind to everyone.